story time about how I became a yacht girl. Here is the definition in case you don't know what it is. Disclaimer, this is not my story time. I repeat, this is not my story time. As soon as I get on the yacht, I see two very, very famous Insta models. Can't say the name, but they were extremely famous. Like, you would recognize their face right away. I was so nervous when I got on the yacht, my knees were trembling. One of the other girls who I didn't actually recognize her face, this girl read me like a book. She knew I was a first timer, so she took it upon herself to explain to me what was gonna happen. I appreciated her help. This day, her and I are besties. She told me when the billionaire would arrive, we would basically just party. Even if I didn't want to party, I had to party. But I was ready for it. She told me to have fun and that if there was anything that I didn't want to do, that I should just go to her so that I can discuss it with her. Oh boy, and I did. All of the girls and I kind of talked and we chose our bedrooms. Then the billionaire showed up. To my relief, he was young, he was hot, and super famous. And he was super fun right away. He talked to us like we were all his friends. There was nothing romantic about it. Let me just tell you how big the yacht was. It had eight bedrooms, a medium-sized pool and a jacuzzi, and literally the most amazing kitchen. Part of the fun was actually getting to hang out in the kitchen. A few of the girls and I decided to cook. The chef on the yacht was amazing. Basically taught us a bunch of stuff. Remember I told you the lady that got me the job told me not to take a suitcase? Well, when I opened my closet, it was full of designer dresses. And there was also skincare and some makeup. And a lot of bikinis, like I said. The only requirement was that we wear bikinis all the time. And I had no problem with that. There was always music on and we were always able to just do whatever we wanted. That's when the billionaire came up to me and told me that I was really pretty and that he wanted to talk to me. We sat at the front of the yacht and we talked for about two hours. We started talking about marine life. I graduated from marine biology. So he was super interested in everything I had to say. I was pleasantly surprised to see how respectful he was. There was nothing weird or even pervy about him. Like he was just a regular dude talking to a regular girl. After the two hours they had dinner for us ready. That's when all of the girls and I got dressed up and we looked fabulous. But you guys, I caught feelings for this dude so quick. I'm not even joking. The entire dinner, I couldn't stop looking at him. And he noticed. I'm sure this was his tactic, you know? Get me by myself and talk to me about life. So that I could just fall in love with him. Well, let me tell you what I did. I made sure to sit next to him the entire night. And then, you know what? I made around $60,000 for that job. After that, I decided to do yachting about once a month. I was getting so many offers that I couldn't keep up. But at the same time, I did want to prioritize my parents. I made more than a million dollars my first year, paid off all my parents' debt, and I paid off the mortgage on their house. Remember the billionaire that I went on the first trip with? I see him almost every single month. He always flies me out to wherever he is, but no, he does not want a relationship. And I'm not trying to be one of his baby mamas. I definitely don't want to do this too much longer though. The billionaires and millionaires are not always good looking guys. They're not always nice, let me tell you. This one guy slapped me once because I didn't want to go into a bedroom with him. So I'm starting my own businesses. Can you guess who some of the yachting girls are? Hi!